The adoption of a new constitution planned following the November 16, 2024 referendum in Gabon is a crucial step towards the implementation of the recommendations of the inclusive national dialogue and the establishment of a civilian regime after the August 30, 2023 coup. A major commitment of the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions CTRE, in power, aimed at restoring the sovereignty of the country. This project will pave the way for democratic elections in 2025 to put an end to the transition period. The new Gabonese constitution firstly has the merit of existing, but the issue is first and foremost the rupture the breach from the block of constitutionality that Gabon experienced since independence onto the coup, which brought General Clote Oligingema to power. Then the other issue is the legalization of the power of President Clote, who has the possibility of representing himself. The development of a new constitutional text in Gabon reflects the commitment of the transitional government to a return to order in the country. The new fundamental law will help to redefine the political basis of the country, a priority on the city area agenda. If the text is voted on, Gabon will notably move to a system without a prime minister, with a presidential mandate of seven years, renewable ones. The document also proposes a separation of powers in order to consolidate democracy in the country and a ban on family succession to the presidency. The small downside with this constitution is that power being concentrated in the hands of the president, the political class risks having the impression of experiencing a kind of exclusion because the number of those who can access certain positions will be reduced and the lengthening of the term of office may constitute a problem for the ambitions of some. Les ambitions de certains. The transition charter authorizes President Brice Oligin Gema to run in the presidential election scheduled for August 2025. According to some opponents, the new constitution concentrates most of the powers in the hands of the president, which leaves doubt regarding the political future of the country.